This is a video on fire precautions in the lab. Here we can see Ben working very safely in the lab. Take note of the fire extinguisher and fire blanket on the left hand side. After dispensing the flammable liquid ethanol, Ben removes it and places it in an adjacent fume cupboard. He then ignites the burner and starts the fire all safely inside the fume cupboard. Finally, he pulls the sash down. Now we see Chris, and the first thing to note is that his hair hasn't been tied back. This is a significant risk to Chris. After igniting the burner outside of the fume cupboard, he starts his fire and foolishly leaves the ethanol right next to the flame. Also take note of the trip hazard on the floor. Here you can see the danger posed by having the flame right next to the bottle of ethanol. So can you see the fire exit sign? There it is above the door. It's really important to make sure you know where the fire exits are whenever you're inside a lab. In the event of the fire alarm sounding, it's important to make sure that you leave in a very calm fashion. If panic sets in and you run, you might find the exit is blocked and this could result in a serious accident. Also, it's very important not to use the lift during a fire please make sure you use the stairs. If you encounter a fire and the alarm hasn't yet been sounded, it's very important to make sure that you break the glass on the fire call point. This will sound the alarm. Finally, it's important to note that there are different types of fire extinguisher. When tackling a particular fire, you must use the correct fire extinguisher. You will be given appropriate training if you need to do this.